Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip, and today we are going to be talking about Crypto.com and Kronos, and specifically Tectonic Finance, one of the largest borrowing and lending protocols on the Kronos chain. And we're going to be comparing it to one of the other very large borrowing and lending protocols on Ethereum, Compound. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but we're going to be talking about that and more in today's video. Guys, the crypto markets were flying today. Bitcoin flew past 21000 Ethereum back above $1,650. Absolutely awesome. So we got to talk about that and how it compares with some of the bearish thoughts we had earlier this week regarding Federal Chair Jerome Powell's announcement on uh, how he is raising the interest rates to fight inflation, another raise by 0.75%. But unfortunately, he had a very hawkish footing, which scared the markets. And I said it and go back to one of my previous videos. I'll link it for you right here. Now, I do acknowledge that we could have some downside, but I said just when everybody thinks everything's bearish, the absolute opposite could happen. And that's exactly what we got. I'm going to link a video for you right here. Make sure you check it out. But let's get into the stories for today. Uh, let's hop into these charts, but before we do, make sure you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing four videos every single day for you. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. So you don't want to miss out on that either. Let's look at these charts, guys. We are back above a $1 trillion market cap, which is great to see. Let's celebrate that here. But look, Dogecoin still trending number one. Unfortunately, it's down a little bit. Bitcoin just under 21,000 and Ethereum just under 1650, which is fantastic to see. The altcoins have been on an awesome rally. Uh, specifically, shout out to Polygon holders. If you guys are holding Polygon and Matic, boy, oh boy, did you get a huge pump here over the last seven days. You've got a 25% pump, huge gains for altcoins right now. Crypto.com is hanging strong at just under 12 cents. We are waiting for an explosion. I think it could be coming. And let's look at the coin of the hour, Tectonic Finance. Guys, Tectonic has been hanging on tight. So what did we do recently? We came down and we came back up and we hit a major resistance. Now this resist, like this is a huge resistance. This is a floor. Now we're trying to break up above this previous peak here, but we got ways to go. So we broke almost above, and now we're kind of trading sideways. But what can happen next? Well, we're going to talk about that here in just a second. So stick around to the end of the video. But a couple quick updates for you guys. One, Dogecoin is slumping. Well, why? Because apparently the Twitter crypto dream is on a pause. Well, what does that mean? Elon Musk was going to be coming out with a crypto wallet for Twitter, and he still is. But I think it's not going to come out as fast as people first thought. So all that hype leading up to the acquisition for Elon Musk and Twitter. Uh, it's fading out a little bit. And though Dogecoin's still strong, not going anywhere, you know, it's going to fall a little bit until we get another big tweet or another big story from Elon Musk. That's just how it goes. But uh, smash a like button if you like Dogecoin. I do love it. Love to swing trade that coin. Maybe you have a little bit for the long term too. Obviously a great project. Elon Musk loves it, though I don't love the inflationary aspect of it. So that's another point to be made here. But little update for you there. Uh, also need to know one of the reasons Bitcoin was flying today, guys, uh, we talked about this in a previous video, just when everybody believed that fed comes out, raise the interest rates, fed chair, Jerome Powell's very hawkish markets are doomed. That's when the opposite happens. A report came out, a jobs report. It totally affected the market. Everybody spaz and said, you know what we're buying. And this is the reason that the markets were pumping today. This jobs report was very, very good for crypto uh, because it shows that, you know, there's a lot more pain to come. Uh, you know, guys, it implies the Federal Reserve might have to stay aggressive in pushing to cool off the labor market. So in the meantime, cryptocurrency, people like it. I like to see that. That's a very good thing to see. This is very bullish. And guys, also, we cannot miss. I've talked about this, did a short about this one. Fidelity Investments opened their waiting list for Fidelity Crypto, which means more institutions are getting into crypto. Guys, Visa has a partnership with the FIFA World Cup and Crypto.com to create an exclusive line of NFTs. Fidelity Investments offering crypto trading to retail customers. We are in a world of crypto, guys, and it is very exciting. And there's a lot of things that are waiting to push these markets back up. The jobs report and some of this news about Fidelity are definitely some of the stories. But let's talk a little bit here 
about what we might see coming here down the stretch. Now, remember, we talked a lot about on this channel how November and December are typically bullish for crypto. Well, we're off to a good start for November. Let's see how it goes. But this is a big event you got to keep in mind. Guys, the midterm elections in the U.S. are coming up. You know, vote how you're going to vote. I'm not talking about politics here. But there is a lot lying in the wings, and people are waiting to see who gets elected. People are going to be deciding the future of cryptocurrency based on who we elect. Who we elect matters in terms of crypto. So whoever you're going to vote for, if you like crypto, do your research. Make sure you vote for the right candidate. I'm not going to say who I'm going to vote for. I'll leave that up to you. But guys, a lot of people are going to be eyeballing this. And if the wrong candidates are selected in terms of crypto-friendly folks not getting into the circle, then it might not be as good for crypto. Though, if crypto folks get elected, which I personally think is going to happen because a lot of people are excited about crypto, crypto is too big to ignore then that could be a very bullish event for us and for crypto. So what are we going to get from Tectonic? Well, guys, I don't know if you've seen this, but Tectonic has a pretty big following on Twitter. They got 52.4K followers, okay? Now, I'm going to compare that real quick to Compound, which has 250K followers. Let's call it 250. It's 238. So, guys, 50,000 goes into 250,000 five times. So it is five times bigger than Tectonic. But let's go back here really quick to the charts and let's look at the market cap of Tectonic. So the market cap of Tectonic is at about $16 billion. Okay. But let's look at Compound real quick. Uh, so excuse me, it's $16 million, right? So very low market cap, rank number seven versus Compound's $372 million market cap. Okay. Again, we said that Compound is five times bigger than Tectonic. So in that, you know, should it be uh, five times as valuable? Well, I'd say so. So I think Tectonic's got some catching up to do. Looking at a $370 million uh, market cap and, and taking how many times does 16 go into that? Guys, it's a 23x from here to get to the market cap of compounds, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, but maybe in the future, who knows? We'll have to see. So the question you ask is, well, what is one fifth of 373? The answer is 74.6. So what am I saying? $74.6 million, I believe is a very, very logical expectation for a market cap for tectonic finance. Guys, remember, because Tectonic has 50K followers versus Compounds, 238K followers. And guys, Tectonic is an awesome borrowing and lending protocol. If you haven't used it, if you haven't seen it, and you've just been trading it, fine. I, you know, I love the project. If you're trading it, good for you. But look into the project. Potentially utilize it. Look at using it on the Kronos uh, ecosystem, on the Crypto.com DeFi app. It's spectacular. I highly recommend it. But guys, if it's one-fifth the size of a uh, compound in the future, then you're looking at, you know, how many times does 16 go into, you know, because 74 million would be one fifth of the market cap of compound. How many times does 16 go into 74 million? Uh, so you take 74, you know, divided by 16. You're looking at a 5X, basically a 4.6X. So guys, I'm telling you, a 5X for Tectonic is certainly certainly in the cards soon. I believe it's in the cards soon. Why? Because we are going into a bullish November, a bullish December, and Tectonic has been showing some real promise, uh, not only with these awesome tweets they're doing. Guys, November 1st, they're tweeting. They're talking on October 30th, October 26th. They're showing things that they're doing for updates, some of the updates that they have on the app. So they're on the job, man. They're on the game. They are improving this project. But guys, remember, we've been trading uh, sideways after a pretty big breakout. And there's a chance if crypto gets bullish again, and Kronos especially, if crypto.com coin gets bullish here, Tectonic should soar as well. And if it breaks above this resistance, then our 5X, which it wants oh so bad, given that it should catch up to compound, at mm -hmm. least being one fifth as valuable like we talked about, it will soar because look at how calm this market's been and look where it launched. Guys, there is so much upside for Tectonic. Are you ready? Do you have Tectonic tokens? I think it could be absolutely explosive. Honestly, 
I've got all my bags. I've got all the tectonic that I need. I'm ready to go. I'm not putting any more in personally because I think we are at the bottom personally. I think we are very close to the bottom. I'm focusing on my large cap coins. I've got my moon bag for tectonic. Are you? Do you have your moon bag for tectonic and are you ready? Because guys, I got to let you know, a 5x is only the beginning. We're talking about an easy 100x. If tectonic can get into the top 100 coins and just to put that into perspective for you, guys, compound, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'll go over here. Compound is actually currently ranked at coin number 101. So one day, and I, I do believe in the bull market compound, we'll get back up to the rank 50. I think there's a chance that tectonic could get into the top 100, even into the top 200. And you're looking at something close to a hundred X on the current value of the project. Guys, if you don't have tectonic and you love Kronos, then you got to think about it at least. VVS, Tectonic, two awesome protocols on the crypto.com ecosystem in the Kronos chain. Um, you know what? This is not financial advice, but I want to keep you guys up to date with our thoughts. You know, I'm just a guy, loves crypto, loves doing the research, loves providing content to the beautiful, beautiful audience. I appreciate all you guys tuning in, smashing up the like button, subscribing to the channel because we're going to keep this content coming. And don't forget, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber when we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. That's all I got, guys. Uh, don't forget to DCA HODL, and we will see you in the next one. I also got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Have a good night. Peace.